Hello and welcome to Aftercraft's second uh, tutorial for beginners to survival mode. I am Aftercraft and I guess we're going to continue exactly where we left off. I have not done anything, I haven't edited anything. It should be exactly the same as I left it. So we should be. Yeah, I'm right here in my little shelter and uh, I'm going to go to the door, right click to exit and I'm going to go up to my crafting table and uh, the next tool I'm going to make is essential for when it becomes night out so I'm going to right click to only add one stick and then take some of the wood I collected, the uh, wood planks and put one here and one here right in the middle and it will give you a wooden sword put that right down here for your uh, equipped items and uh, so I'm just gonna keep this in hand just in case you know something comes at me and uh, what we're gonna look for right now is uh, something that we can kill to get food or else you'll starve to death there's a little meter at the bottom uh, next to your hearts that'll tell you how hungry you are and it should always be full just to let you know okay I, I see a cow over here and I'm gonna jump up here all right and he's I guess he's stuck in the leaves uh, so what you all you have to do is you have to look at it and with your little uh, crosshair here and just smack the shit out of him and uh, you collect his stuff and uh, I can't guarantee you that he's always gonna be stuck in something they might try to run away but that's not a big deal okay so now we're gonna go back to our shelter Oh shit, that's a creeper. Anytime you see one of these, you get the fuck away from him. And uh, I have a strategy for how to get rid of him. I just wait for him to get as close as they can, and when they start igniting, I hit him away. Shit. You really don't want them to be really close to you. You want to get as far the fuck away from them as you can. And you get a little achievement for it. Yay. All right. And uh, whenever you kill a creeper, the one thing you get out of it is gunpowder. And just keep that because it can become useful later on. So I'm going to go back to my shelter. And let me see here. All right. So I have the I have my uh, raw beef. And I'm going to go down to the, st the cobblestone that I collected from when I dug my shelter out just put it in a nice square around here and you should get this this is the uh, furnace and I'm gonna put that right here in my active inventory and I'm gonna go in here and just set it right here you can put it anywhere you want it doesn't matter you can pick it up later and the best thing to break it up is with a pickaxe shit it's breaking up pretty good so just keep that in mind so uh, yeah I used the coal to make that I think I saw some over here yeah okay so you're either gonna need one of two things to run your oven and that's either gonna be coal or wood and uh, since I have coal right here it'll make it easier and there, that should be enough. Okay, so one piece of coal will last a little while. So I'm going to put the coal right here, and the one that's underneath this, uh, the bottom one. Uh, and then you're going to take the roll beef you got from killing the cow <coughs> and just set it right up there. And this arrow will start filling up with white stuff. Uh, don't make any jokes about that. And then you'll get... A nice steak. Everybody loves steak. Now it's gonna give us another one. You just gotta wait a little. It's mostly just a waiting thing when it comes to furnaces. But don't worry. It's worth it. You get steak. <coughs> Sorry. I'm feeling a little uh, sick, I think. So, once you've collected all this steak, or it, you're gonna put it in your active inventory, and it looks like I'm hungry already. And you can see down at the bottom that my uh, food meter is deteriorating a bit. 
So I'm going to go to my steak and right click, but I'm going to hold it down until my hunger is gone. Alright, so that piece of steak disappears and your hunger is replenished, so that's a good thing. And uh, seeing as how we're going to need a lot of charcoal for different things in the future, I'm going to show you something that I was shown by a friend of mine in order to keep collecting coal. So I showed you how to make an axe in the last video, and so we're going to use that right now. Uh, just find any tree and cut down the wood. Just chopping down wood, just chopping down wood. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. Alright. So then you're going to go back into your house with the wood that you just collected. And go, shit, back to your furnace. Right click on it. And we're going to put uh, a piece of charcoal right, or a piece of coal right here. And then we're going to take the wood, pure the pure wood that we have, and put it right up here. And it'll start cooking it. And we'll just wait a little bit to see what we get. And it's almost done. Okay, and when it's done, you'll get this. And it's not coal, it's charcoal. And it's basically the exact same thing. And you can use it for anything that coal is used for. You just can't put them together. I'll show you. You just can't put those two together. All right, and basically the only difference between the two is their name. So, yeah, you'll get the same outcome. So, it it'll basically give you more uh, charcoal. And if you need if you need to keep cooking wood, then you just put charcoal in there. So it's an unlimited supply, pretty much, just depending on the trees around you. Yeah, we're getting some charcoal. Okay. So the next part I guess I can show you is farming. But the thing is is that in order to farm we need a flat area around uh, a flat area that's around water. So I'm going to put this here. Just take the dirt that I collected earlier. And like I said the best way to collect dirt is with the shovel. Just make a nice little line around here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is right next to the water, pull out my hoe, and like I said, don't make any fucking jokes about that. It'll piss me off. <laughs> and uh, we're going to right click and just do it like right along the water. And I only have one seed apparently. Alright, now seeds are really easy to come by. Now I'll show you right here in a second after I plant this. Okay, so you see the this tall grass growing everywhere? You're just gonna have to, all you have to do is left click on it and it's gone in an instant. But not every time, it's not gonna give you seeds every time so you have to look for more. See? And just keep going at it, keep destroying them and collect all the seeds that you can. And if you're going out at night, like I said, be careful. Uh, try to keep a sword equip equipped as much as you can. But don't destroy, don't destroy gla uh, grass with your sword because it will just make your sword uh, deteriorate faster, and it's for a useless cause. So that's why I'm doing it with a fist. Let's see, I'm getting a little more seeds every time, but not every time. All right, shit. It's kind of a. This is one of the most tedious things when you're at first because you you not every single piece of grass gives you seeds and you have to keep going around destroying plants and shit. But just plant them right there where they are by the water. And I guess I won't be able to show you in this tutorial what happens, but it, they'll just start growing. And uh, there's a specific time when you're supposed to uh, dig them up, but. I'll show you that in a bit. Shit, I'm getting attacked by a zombie. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I had to cut it off there. My mom just came in while I was recording. They don't understand. 
why I record or what I'm recording or when I'm recording. So they just kind of barge in. They don't even fucking knock. So... Okay, so I've planted my grass and... I've still got my beef, but uh, the reason that we're doing this is so that we don't have to kill the animals. And the thing is, is that you don't want to kill the animals because most animals you can get something more useful out of them later on. And uh, let's see, I've shown you how to use basically all these tools and uh, shown you some basic stuff. So I'm going to, wait, yeah, I'm going to keep my wood pickaxe equipped and... Uh, get some charcoal out of here and uh, I'm gonna make a few more torches and just remember you can just always use the charcoal you don't have to use coal and uh, so basically I'm going to start digging downward now because uh, the game is called Minecraft and you're gonna have to start mining I mean it has to happen eventually you know and one of the main reasons you want to mine is so that you can find ores, uh, like iron and stuff. And basically what you want to try to do is make a staircase, and it has to be by one, uh, by one block each time because uh, you want to be able to jump back up each time. If it's two blocks high, then you won't be able to jump back up, and you'd have to set a block down or something, and it would fuck up your staircase. And so I'm going to keep going down, and you notice that the further I'm going down and the further I'm getting away from the light source that it's getting darker. That's why I made torches. You always want to keep, when you're mining or going into caves, you always want to keep torches with you. So I'm going to set that there. And ke just keep making this big staircase. Now eventually you might dig into a cave or something. Shit, I just lost my pickaxe. Uh, and when that happens, don't worry, but try to put torches up everywhere because you don't want to run into uh, creatures because even if it's uh, daytime, creatures will still spawn in dark areas. And uh, since my uh, pickaxe just broke, I'm going to show you something else. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing that we did before in the last video. And I'm going to take these sticks, put two here, two here. But instead of using my wood planks this time, I'm going to take the cobblestone I collected and just put them right up there. And now we have stone pickaxes, and uh, stone pickaxes last a lot longer than the wooden pack pickaxes do, and they break up blocks a lot quicker. Shit, I, fr I just can't. Uh, sorry, I do that a lot. And I want to have two if I'm going to be mining. And... Okay, so I'm going to go back to my staircase, but right now I'm going to have to cut off uh, until the next video. And so I hope that this one's been even more informative than the last, and I hope that you keep watching. Uh, and if you want to do that, then try subscribing or whatever. And uh, I'll continue showing you how to basically get through Minecraft. So, yeah, come back. Please. 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 Just come back. I want to see you again. You're a nice guy. You know, you got a, you, you got a nice thing going on. Just do it. Just please. Please.